As Africa continues to untangle itself from neocolonization, its economies are finally taking root to set the foundation for the growth to come. This can be credited to the fact that Africans themselves are beginning to own the key industries that drive developments. Meet the outstanding Africans who are developing Africa. Aliko Dangote Born in Kano State, Nigeria in 1957, son of Mariah and Mohamed Dangote. After losing his father at age 8, Aliko was raised by his uncle. Aliko Dangote later rose to become not only the richest African, but also the richest person of African descent anywhere in the world. He did so by pursuing his vision to make Africa self-sufficient. A true Pan-African, Dangote operate in 18 African countries and continue expanding. I am a proud African, he often say with pride. Speaking of homes, I own not one single brick outside Africa. Nigeria is the only place I call home. At age 21, Dangote got his start trading in foreign goods, which he purchased with a loan from his uncle. Once the opportunity arose, Dangote took the path of roadless travel and began producing and manufacturing commodities, some of which include flour, sugar, salt, and cement, of which they said he was king, a move that would make Dangote a billionaire. Being the pioneer he is, Dangote could not be contained by what all considered success. In 2013, he set out to solve one of Nigeria's biggest problems, that of fossil fuel imports, of which Nigeria, being among the top oil producer in the world, imports more than 90% of the refined product for its own consumption, making the oil-rich country a net oil importer. In 2016, Dangote began his biggest project to date the Dangote Oil Refinery and Petrochemical Plant. At a cost of $14 billion, it will be the world's largest single refinery. At completion, Dangote Refinery and Petrochemical Plant will process 650,000 barrels of oil daily and produce 1.3 million tons of polypropylene, a key ingredient in plastic and 3 million tons of urea and ammonia to be used as fertilizers. This one project will make Nigeria and surrounding communities sufficient in gasoline, diesel, plastics, jet fuel, and fertilizers. Dangote industry also reduced the need of Nigeria to purchase U.S. dollars as a result, raising the value of Nigeria's currency, the Naira, and improving the lives and spending power of Nigerians and Africans in general. Currently, the Dangote refinery and petrochemical plant is partially completed and is scheduled to be in line in 2021, putting Africa in a more competitive position. In his own words, here are some notable quotes and statements from Aliko Dangote himself. When asked, Don't you think building a refinery will be challenging considering that you will have to compete with the Europeans, the Americans, and Chinese who all want to continue supplying these goods to the Nigerian market? To that, Dangote answered, As a company, we like a challenge, but beyond that, we want to do things to make our country proud and self-sufficient. There is no place on earth where foreign investors will go and create an economy or make that economy great. That will have to be led by the locals. Dangote was asked, How do you feel about being the richest man in Africa, a place which is associated with extreme poverty? It does feel weird. You have a very big responsibility, but it gives us an opportunity to be impactful upon humanity. We have $1.2 billion in the Dangote Foundation, which we started in 1993. Another important impact that we are glad to make 
is giving people the opportunity to take care of their families by providing hundreds of thousands of jobs. Unlike foreigners who take the money they make in Africa back to their own countries, and even some Africans who keep their money in the bank, we keep no money in the bank. We just keep reinvesting. Many people flaunt their wealth. How do you remain so humble being as rich as you are? It's better to be humble because they say no condition is permanent. I like to keep my life simple enough so that if I ever lose my fortune, I can continue to live a comfortable life. The importance of people like Dangote is this. The economic world has been transformed from a competition between mom and pops and became a clash of titan. For this, pioneering giants like Dangote are the strength of Africa. For one reason above all, not owning your own economy is a ticking time bomb because whoever controls your livelihood controls whether or not your people eat. Aliko Dangote is a man who, through his vision and hard work, has really been blessed by Ajay Shaluga, the goddess of wealth, and the way he has handled his blessing has become a source of pride not only for Africa but the entire African diaspora. Let's all give Aliko Dangote a big round of applause.